Hey guys, good morning. It's Callie. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a very busy morning this morning. I want to get this video up and filmed and say hey to you guys. And then I got to make a big salad and I'm going to a party this afternoon at Patty and Jonathan's house. It's supposed to rain later this afternoon, but we're going to be hanging out on her porch outside. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, I hope you guys are having a great week. I have a pretty big auction haul. Um, it never is planned to be that way, but sometimes that's how we wind up. And um, I don't have any artwork to share with you guys this week. I have been very busy, though. On the other hand, um, of course, I'm always doing some art, right? There is the second installment of the Gypsy and the Witches creative journaling page, which will be released on Tuesday the 15th this week. So excited. Uh, Rita and I, again, have collaborated to put this creative journaling journey together and we encourage you guys to join us, so stay tuned on Tuesday for the release from This Witch and That Gypsy. And I'll keep you posted on how that's going. And there's also some more exciting news that we're going to release this week, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's see, last time I talked to you, it was my birthday. I had the best day ever. Wound up going to, I told you we were going to the Bethel Wood site, uh, the original Woodstock site. They have a harvest festival there. And we go and grab some pesto and bread and fruit and a blanket and lots of bubbles and a ball and a frisbee and set out a blanket. And my dear sister, Donathan, came. I haven't seen her in, in a very long time. And I got to hang out with her and my grandkids. And it was just a beautiful day with Tom and Nick. And it just wound up being one of the best birthdays I've ever had. And I had a great outpouring of love on Facebook and from you guys. So I really felt it and um, looking forward to this year and every day actually. But, you know, thanks for making that day special. And I'm looking down at my notes to see what else is going on. I had to, my grandson got his first stitches this week. We had to, you know, got a call, go to the ER. He's fine, but he did get a couple stitches above his eyebrow. Um, he'll be six years old this, this month. And the girl next door hit him in the head with a doll. <laughs> And luckily didn't get his eye. So uh, that was a little traumatic, but adventurous. And he'll have a story to tell. And um, all is well there. But And my grandkids are just getting so big. My um, oldest granddaughter, Riley Marie, is starting dance class. She's three. And she's in North Carolina. I don't get to see her often. Um, as well as my youngest grandson, Jacoby. But thank goodness for Facebook and Skype and all that stuff. So... Um, if you can't be there in person, you can at least be there virtually, right? What else? I went to see my friend Ellen this week. I've talked about Ellen and Antoine, and Ellen has gifted me in the past with some amazing things. And let me tell you, you guys, I told you about getting some candle-making equipment from her in the past. Well, she came through again, and I have this... It's too big for me to even drag out here and show you, but I have this huge, huge bin... Maybe one day I'll do a candle making haul. That's a good idea for a video, right? Um, of everything, more molds, more wax, more coloring, more wicks, more you name it, I got it. So the universe is telling me it's time to make some candles as well as Ellen. And um, so, yeah, I stay tuned for that, you guys. I keep talking about it and my project list is getting longer. Um, I told you I hibernate in the winter, so this will be good. But uh, I'm getting ambitious. My to-do list is getting ever longer. And there's so many projects and things I want to do. People will post things on my Facebook page that I'm like, oh my God, I have to do that. So yeah, please, let this be the worst problems I ever have, right? I'm so blessed to be able to um, spend my time like this. But So anyway, blessed again. Thank you, Ellen, so much um, for this amazing candlework stuff. And I now that I talk about it, I will do just like... A, candle making haul, right? I have not made candles since I was a young, young girl with my sister. We used to make them out of milk cartons with ice cubes and they look like Swiss cheese and that's all I really remember. And maybe melting crayons. So I'll have to brush up on some uh, YouTube videos and things like that. And um, so stay tuned for candles. And I wanted to also give you an update on, before I jump into this auction haul, on my um, Rotsill 4 journey and my Green Juice in the Morning journey. 
And let me tell you guys, today is day 13, and this is not a diet, this is not a fad, this is a lifestyle change for me, and I have to tell you, I feel so amazing. I have been eating nothing but raw fruits and vegetables. Uh, I start each day with a big glass of green juice, and, um, and then nothing but raw fruits and vegetables all day until 4 p.m., at which time I have a high-carb, low-fat, low-sodium cooked meal. So, like, um, the, last, the other night I had enchiladas and rice and salad and guacamole and homemade salsa and pico de gallo. And, I mean, it, you are not deprived in this lifestyle. And I'm so, your taste buds change. And I'm just so excited about this and I am vegan and I'm happily vegan and I'm hoping to remain vegan um, for the rest of my life so if you guys have not checked out raw till four or juicing in general or things like that um, I guarantee you it w has the cure for whatever ails you so uh, let me know if you guys have ever tried anything like that or if you're interested in it and if you'd like to hear more from me about it, I don't want to, you know, talk too much about it if you're not interested, but I just got to tell you that I'm feeling amazing. Um, and let's see, excuse me, last but not least, um, I told you, <laughs> it's so sad, you guys, at the end of the year, I will be doing a year's worth of journal flips. I have vowed to do a journal every day, every month of the year. A different type of journal and I have to say the last few months they've been progressively getting less and less and literally I'm just throwing things together it's the middle of September and I have not yet started a September journal but the other day I had to go to the bank because once again my account was hacked um, which is super annoying but that's what happens when you have your information out online right I had to get a new ATM card and while I was there they gave me this nice heavy pamphlet with pages and there's even a pocket in the back and I thought voila that's what I'm going to use for my September journal so um, <laughs> I will at least get one page done in this by the end of the month uh, this is my plan so you guys without further ado I'm going to jump in here in no particular order uh, and I also have a very special gift that I was gifted at the auction last night, which is really probably my favorite item here and will be m one of my favorite items of all time. And I bet you'll agree, but um, I'll show you that at the end. One thing I do want to show you that I had left in Tom's car last week that I didn't get a chance to show you. Um, I got this last week and this is just a simple shelf. I paid a dollar for it. It's just wrought iron and wood and obviously I need more shelving because I need stuff to hold all the crap I get at the auction, right? So simple shelf, one dollar. Happy with that. Um, all right, one other thing I'm going to show you that it's funny. I left that in Tom's truck last week. Well, this week he brought up one one thing that's going to go back to him. This is his, but we got this last night. And for those of you who've seen his the studio tour that I did. Um, have seen that Tom likes um, sound and light and amplifiers and things like that and old this is a potentiometer a single range potentiometer okay and I don't know what it does it measures potential I don't know but it is old school there are directions for use. It's in a heavy, heavy duty wooden case, which is beautiful. And I don't know, this was like maybe $5, something like that. And this will just be used decoratively in the studio. And he's getting filled up over there, just like I'm getting filled up over here. I don't know what we're gonna do. I can't imagine not going to the auction, but I really am gonna have to start doing a yard sale or something anyway. Another thing I got for a dollar is this crazy vase, and it's a three-prong ceramic, handmade, numbered, very cool, original, funky, 
flower vase. Um, you know, for a dollar. Another thing for a dollar was this very cool pot. And this is from Denmark. Hand-painted pot. It is heavy duty. Heavy dirty. A little bit dirty. I'll clean it up. Very simple. These are, um, you know, etched in, graved in, engraved. I love it. It's very cool. Let's put it on the bottom. I'm going to have to start bringing in plants from the deck soon. Uh, you know that I have a thing for bottles and that I collect. I usually wind up getting a whole bunch of spice jars and things like that. Um, I do use them for my herbs and my witchy things and buttons and crystals and you name it, fairy dust and nebula bottles, which by the way, I saw uh, Secret did a video on um, nebula. I had done a nebula bottle video and got huge response. I'll link that below. Um, a huge positive response, so thank you for that. And I see that um, Miss Secret was inspired to make some Nebula bottles as well. And if you haven't checked out her video, check it out. But they're really fun, really addicting, and they look really good displayed on your old school, old fashioned spice rack. Um, yeah, spice jar rack. And I have one of these that is identical that I've showed you guys in previous auction haul. Um, this comes complete with cobwebs. So I will be cleaning this up and probably putting it side by side with, I literally have an identical one, um, putting it side by side. Um, I'm really don't have any wall space. I'm going to stop complaining. I don't have any place to put all my wonderful stuff. Be quiet, Callie. Okay. Anyway, but wall space is a premium here. Also, I got, which I saw from a distance, and if I had seen that it didn't have the bowl, I might not have got it, but I might give this to my friend. I told you about my friend Dawn. Her husband, Joe, is Native American, and he actually is an artist himself, but this is a peace pipe, and from a distance, I saw it like this, but I didn't realize it doesn't have the bowl. Uh, I believe they usually use a clay bowl, but it's possible that Joe may have some. So I'll probably give this to him. It looks pretty non-authentic. I don't know. What do I know of such things? But it actually is a pipe. You can smoke it. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, some poor rabbit is displayed here. But anyway, uh, I don't know. This was everything that I'm about to show you, with the exception of the shelf that was from last week. Uh, came to a total of $21. So, I don't know. But I'll probably give this to Joe. So, Peace Pipe. And these, which I thought were great, and they still have the tags on them. And there was one more that came up later on in the night that I didn't grab just because I have enough. But these are just hooks. They kind of look like shutters or old washboards. But I really like the... Um, design at the top and they're just hooks you can always use a hook I may paint these I may alter them in some way I don't know they're metal super cool always handy to hang stuff on I got this plate which looks like it's either you know it's funny a lot of abstract art and things like that I look at sometimes and I'm like I my grandson could do that so, but, you know, I, I think it's kind of cool. It's like stone or, or ceramic. It's signed on the back. And it just has this abstract design. And I thought it was cool. I wouldn't necessarily eat off of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I got it. Um, random frames came together and I'll show you some of them don't have all their pieces but that's okay I can always alter frames I usually grab frames if I if they go cheap even if they have pictures in them because I'll use them I'll alter them or use them but here's one just wood nice one has all its pieces including the glass this one says 
the thank you flower sculpture and someone's sweet drawing in there. And I <laughs> won't be keeping that, but maybe I'll use it in my art. This is old school, and you guys, look at the picture in this. This is a double, you know, I remember my mother having frames like this in the house. But look at the girl. Oh, yeah. That would look cool in some altered art. But these are metal. Heavy metal. And, you know, you would display that on your shelf or something. And this one is super cool, but it doesn't have a back, but that's okay. I will make a back. Hello. And... These boxes, someone had already altered them, and I should have left them alone to show you how I think awful they were. But as soon as I got them, I started pulling them apart in the box because they were just awful. But I'll show you one that wasn't altered. That's really cool, actually. And I just got to get the stickers off of this. This is wood. And this is... Wow. Uh, I don't know. Can anyone read this? Anyone know what that says? I do not. But it's wooden. And these are all inlays. And it's just beautiful. simple wooden box. Wouldn't it be great if they were like a million dollars? Okay, so this one was fine. And I'll show you another one that was fine. There were two that were fine and two that were not fine. This is another one that was fine that I really, really like. Um, and it's also wood. And I love the curves on that. Can you see the rounded? Okay. And it just it on the inside so that is beautiful I think someone must have been hanging out with us crafters and there was this box which you can see I kind of ruined the top of when I ripped off what was on there but I will re-alter this look at the keyhole too bad it didn't have a key Okay, you can kind of see the remnants of what they did. There was lace here, and then on top of it was this thing. So these beads kind of went around, and I swear to you, and no offense if anybody finds this appealing and thinks that's attractive, but I did not. And um, I might use these in other projects or something but I could not wait to pull this off the box so that was one and then the second box that I pulled the top off of had this thing on top okay now I like the idea of all the buttons on the doily you know, I saw that doily and I, I wanted to make a, a boho dream catcher, right? But I pulled that off and then was left with this. And it also had this trim around the side. And it's just not my style, you guys. I'm not a, a frilly kind of a girl, in case you haven't figured that out yet. But it's a cool box. And it's padded on top and it's wooden. So I'll be re-altering this, and these will be, all be going into the to-do pile of things to alter. And then, then, uh, this is super cool, and it's not complete, and I don't know what you call it, and I think it hung on the wall somehow, okay? But you guys, we can, there, I can use these as stamps. These things come out. So I don't know if this was supposed to be a puzzle or what, but they're raised. And I know that if I take some ink, I can stamp with these. Look at this ampersand. 
that's a stencil. Come on, you guys. So it looks most of the letters are here, believe it or not. Uh, but some are not. I did try to go through last night and figure out what was here and what isn't. But there's enough here that I can play with and check it out. Even this box is just so cool. And there was a hanging thing on the back. So this was, you know, I think floating around the auction somewhere are probably more of these letters. I'm going to use them for stamping. I just love it. I love the box. I love the stamp, the letters. I love the look of the whole thing. I, If it were all together, I would hang it up and then... I don't know what I'm talking about. I just got excited about it. It was very cool. Okay, speaking of very cool, you guys, everybody needs one of these. Too bad they didn't have a leg. And that's what I said. And I'll show you. Um, <laughs> this is poseable. And I think I could use it for a ring model. Uh, it's perfect for Halloween coming up right now, but I've turned this into a peace sign. It is a posable arm and hand. Are you kidding me? We don't want to do... Look, we'll do... Spock. Live long and prosper. Okay? Nanu, nanu. Or <laughs> anyway, whoops, we don't want to be naughty. Okay, peace, you guys, peace. This, how cool is this? Come on. And I can use this, like, to model boho bracelets or something, you know? Um, but it was in the thing. It's got painted nails. You know, I might paint them purple. I just thought it was cool. Random. Um, I'm not going to make it gory for Halloween or anything like that. I'm not into gore. I like to get scared. I love a good, you know, real horror, uh, <clears throat> scary story. And, I, you know, I'm a huge Stephen King fan and things like that. But, And I like the original, like, um, Friday the 13th and Halloween, the originals. But I don't love blood and guts and just slash them up and kill, kill like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and things like that. Just not into it. There's enough of that going on in the world. But I do like to get scared a little bit sometimes. Not in real life. So anyway, they, the arm was there and I was like, oh, too bad they don't have any legs. Well, in the next box I got, look at this. Random leg. Hello. It's a porcelain doll foot, but I had to laugh. And then there were these two too, with no doll attached, but just little Dutch girl legs. So I did get some legs. I got three legs and an arm, so lots of body parts. And I will use these in a collage. Speaking of dolls, these are old and random. And sometimes things from the past come up that you see at the auction that are kind of blatantly racist. Uh, but it speaks of a, a previous time, you know. But I saw a metal sign the other night that, you know showed somebody eating a watermelon and it was clearly clearly a racist item you know that's a part of our history and we have to acknowledge it um like this too so i'll save these and use them in collage or things like that but hopefully one day we'll look back on the way we treat you know gay people now and things like that the same way that we think of people who've gone through prejudice and discrimination in the past you know we just we're we're doing it still we've just moved on to a different group and uh hopefully one day we're not going to discriminate against anybody and just finally accept everyone for who they are that's it for my sermon i'm not going to get into <laughs> politics religion anything like that um okay so and also at the auction i'm just got this box here and i'll just show you there was a random nightlight and I plugged it in last night and blew the little light bulb in the back. So I believe it will work, but it just needs a new light bulb. And that's kind of cool. It's wood. This, which I have no idea what it is, and it looks like it hung on something, but there's a face in it. And I don't know. It's just a random guy that was hugging something. If anybody knows or recognizes this from anything, let me know. 
I got this super cool, um, I love this actually, and this is like ceramic candlestick. Very simple, plain. It was just one, but I really like it. That, this very cool, you know I love little bottles and potion bottles. This one is marked France on the bottom. France. A little cork. Genie in a bottle. Hopefully let out a good genie. This little piece, which I think is real jade, but here's a little donkey or a burrow and a cactus. I saw all week uh, Angie from Angie Lupus Life. Hi, Angie, has been making cactus. So I thought of her when I saw that, but I believe this is carved out of jade. And this, which came from Ireland, and it says handmade in Ireland, is a drunken leprechaun on a leaf with bottles and a snail. So here's the side. It's a leaf, right? And then you can kind of see him laying out, drinking. Here's a little snail on top. Look at that. Isn't he cute? Ah, uh, so glad I don't drink anymore. There were many mornings when I woke up feeling just like that. Not anymore. That, and then this guy, which looks like Hagar the Horrible. Uh, the Horrible. Remember Hagar the Horrible? I think he's still a cartoon on Sunday papers. This said it was made in Denmark. A little Viking. This uh, very southwestern feel. Um, kind of a stone. Uh, st what do you call this? Like terracotta bell with a bead, and this is just a leather. So I may hang this outside. I don't know. And then this, which I believe is from Greece, says Decas Rodas, Stella Solaris. This looks Greek to me. It's all Greek to me. Beautiful, right? Stoneware. It's in great shape. And the last thing, I saw this from a distance and all I heard him say was, Metropolitan Museum of Art and Magnet. And I was like, oh, I want it. So I got this for a dollar and it came in the box and I didn't even know what it was, but it's very bizarre. It is a Laurelton Hall poppy magnet based on Entrist Loggia from Laurelton Hall, Tiffany Studios, 1905. So I guess they made this at the Tiffany Studios in 1905. And it's a a vase, right? Or a table. And it comes apart because it's a magnet. So I will probably just hang this on my refrigerator, like two pieces. It's a strong magnet, you know? Uh, but if I had seen this up closer, I wouldn't have bought it. But that's okay. It was only a dollar. All these only a dollars, they add up, right? But I'll find something to do with it. Grandkids like to play with magnets. That is all that I bought at the auction last night. But that is not all that I got. I told you that part of the best part, the best part of going to the auction has been meeting new friends, making new friends, forging, and you know, these relationships with people. It's amazing. And two of the people that we I've had the pleasure to meet are a couple named Ross and Angela. And literally, I've started talking to them because they sat in front of me and have sat in front of me and Tom and Nick while have, the whole time we've been going to the auction. And we've gotten to know them and we got to know them a little more when we went to the wedding. And we have, you know, I love just talking to them. Well, up for auction a couple of weeks ago came a metal gumball machine. Remember the old school gumball machines? And I didn't get it. And Ross had said and both of them had said listen we have one of these at home do you want it we'll give it to you and I was like oh my god yes thank you so don't you know last night Ross and Angela showed up with this amazing old school now obviously it's a replica 
but it's metal. I'm going to pick this up and show you guys. It's heavy. My, ki my grandkids are going to be so psyched. I'm going to have to keep a box of toothbrushes next to it. It's an old school metal gumball machine. I'm going to try to do this without knocking the table. Complete with gumballs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is all metal, you know. None of this is plastic and glass, you know. And it has a stand. I love this. I love, 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 love this. So I'm super, super psyched and super thankful. Um, and again, I'm just going to talk about how blessed I am um, for you guys and for all the blessings in my life. You, you know, I'm, I'm super thankful, super grateful, and super stoked for more to come. So stay tuned this week, you guys, again, on Tuesday for the release of the second installment of the Gypsy and the Witch creative journaling page from Miss Rita Marie and I. I'll link the Nebula bottle tutorial below. I love all you guys so much. I've been getting back to my comments. I think YouTube has their notifications straightened out now. Um, if you guys have any thoughts, constructive criticism, ideas for new videos, random ramblings, anything, let me know. Have a beautiful, beautiful week. Um, I have lots of ideas, lots of plans, so I just got to get moving on that. Things are going to start to quiet down now that the summer is ending. So you guys have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care so much. I love you so much. Blessed be. Happy new moon. Solar eclipse today, too. So lots of good stuff going on. Take care. You guys.